Database software maker MongoDB surging almost 30% today after this big earnings beat. Some pretty strong guidance uh, when it comes to competitors, uh, bucking a trend of a slowdown that PagerDuty and Salesforce have already warned about. And that is the focus of today's Tech Check with Deirdre Bosa. Morning, D. Morning, guys. We know that AI exuberance that has really driven the rally techs out performance this year. The hope for some bulls is that cloud and enterprise software stocks could keep that going. MongoDB surge is helping other cloud names like Datadog, Snowflake, a handful of others, and really the broader cloud ETF, CLOU, up nearly 2%. It has been a tougher space given the macro backdrop, more scrutiny on enterprise spend. There's been pressure on deal size and closure rates. But MongoDB was far more positive than some of its peers and made the case that fast-moving, nimble software companies that prioritize data will be AI beneficiaries also. On the call, CEO Dev Itacheria said, it is tough out there, but, we will but what we see is that innovation is still a priority. He said, we see that customers really want to leverage software as a competitive advantage. So guys, as developers create new next generation applications for this AI shift, they need modern platforms or infrastructure and more data stores. So while chip makers like NVIDIA, Broadcom, we've talked a lot about them, the picks and the shovels in this gold rush, some enterprise software companies, especially the ones with access to large data sets, they could represent the extraction tools. AI aside though, some analysts see MongoDB's results in the nearer term as evidence that traditional enterprise spend looks better heading, heading into the second half of this year. Mizuho this morning writes that small and medium-sized businesses, they could be bottoming and that would benefit an Amazon cloud unit, AWS growth. But Carl, you mentioned this, for all the optimism MongoDB is providing tech bulls, there is of course the pager duties and the sales forces. Those are the names feeling the macro pressure, inciting caution or lowering guidance. They though aren't enough to spoil this idea in markets that large at large that tech is a new defensive play. When we talk about the Magnificent Seven, it's strong free cash flow, resilient balance sheets, wide moats. So AI in this case may only be the cherry on top. And if you believe that, there could be a lot of a lot more room to run even after the incredible run-ups we've seen this year. You know, Dee, we're right back to the debate we had yesterday with Nikesh Aurora of Palo Alto, and that is whether AI spend crowds out legacy spend or if the rush to to increase, increase your tech budget is so overwhelming that it, basically everybody benefits. We're not, not decided yet. Right, and the whole idea that maybe everything has to be overhauled from the networking equipment to the chips to the infrastructure, and that's still very much playing out. And that's why I think that you see sort of the bull and bear case and enterprise software and even some of the hardware names. Are they going to take part in this shift it's still early? And that's why a lot of folks, a lot of investors are betting on the chips because it is such a clear generative AI play. And, you know, MongoDB made the case that they're going to be providing the modern infrastructure for this shift. We'll see. Snowflake, too, though, we got to note that it's up even after providing disappointing, a disappointing outlook earlier on this week. Um, there's this push and pull, though. It's up so much today on the idea that maybe it actually will benefit from this AI shift. So there's the short term, which we know enterprise spend is under pressure, and the longer term, which you're referring to, Carl, how much of this stuff needs to be upgraded for a new tech massive technology shift that's supposed to be bigger than the Internet itself.